You and I both know the same person who attacked Ava attacked Brando. Sonny, you know I can't discuss the investigation with you. Okay, you, you're the one who told me that both of the victims are connected to me. Can't you just give me anything? Anything you found out? You have the resources to protect yourself and your family. Use them. You don't need any help from me. Okay, we worked together in the past, didn't we? And I made it clear when I came back to Port Charles that those days were over. Even if sharing information is the only way to stop a madman? If I bring you in on this, and we catch this person, all a good defense attorney needs is one technicality to get a murderer back on the street. At least we know who they are. My people are working on it. I'm sure you have people on it, too. In the meantime, let's just hope that Brando wakes up soon and can tell us something. Hey, I have great news. Actually, Brando's awake. Oh. Is he talking? Uh, well, Sasha didn't mention that. I was actually looking for Dr. Robinson. OK, keep looking. I'm going to go talk to Brando right now. <laughs> Dr. Finn, Nina went to get Dr. Robinson. She found her. Uh, Dr. Robinson requested a consult. How are you feeling, Brando? Peaches is stuck. Well, listen, I want you to take it easy, all right? You're still at risk for sepsis and other post-op infections. Dr. Penn, may I have a word with Mr. Corbin? Well, as soon as I'm done with my consult. I'm afraid time is of the essence. The sooner we get a statement, the sooner we can get whoever did this off the street. <coughs> Commissioner, when I'm done here, he's, he's all yours. Thank you, Doctor. You uh, experience any chest pain or shortness of breath? No. Nope.